app is now ready for publishing to Azure. Let's go ahead and learn how to configure the Azure publishing settings. First, we'll select the project name, select Publish, and choose Azure. Let's go ahead and open the Azure portal using the link. And we'll sign into our Microsoft account. Navigate to the Azure Active Directory resource. We'll jump to Properties. And grab the directory ID. Paste the directory in the text box underneath Step 2. Let's go ahead and copy the value in Step 3. In the Azure Active Directory settings, navigate to App Registrations, and let's register a new application. We'll give it the name Code on Time. Go ahead and press Register. Under Redirect URIs, select Add a Redirect URI. Using Type Web, paste in the Redirect URI that we've copied from the App Generator. Go ahead and press Save. If we jump back to Overview, we can copy the application or client ID. In the App Generator, let's paste in the application ID. Finally, we'll need to enable Azure Service Management for this application. Under API Permissions, let's press Add a Permission. And we'll select Azure Service Management. We'll enable the permission User Impersonation and press Add Permissions. Finally, we'll need to add a client secret and copy it into the App Generator. Select Certificates and Secrets. And let's create a new client secret. We'll give it the description Publish. Copy the value of the client secret and paste it under Step 6. We're now ready to authenticate with our Azure account. Log into your account that's under the same domain. And press Accept to accept the permissions that we've specified. Azure Service Management. We can see that the App Generator has found our subscription and automatically selected the first app service available. We now have the option to deploy to production. If we're using a higher tier premium service plan, we can also create staging and swap between production and staging, as well as use custom slots. <laughs>